This video is about what does it mean that Jesus is the truth. Hi, I'm Bake Adafi, and this is Bible Study Verse by Verse. If you'd open your Bible to John chapter 18, we'll begin in just a moment. John chapter 18, verse 37 and 38 <clears throat> is about Jesus is the truth. What does it mean that Jesus is the truth? 36 says, I'm sorry, 37 says, Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say that I'm a king. To this end I was born, and for this cause I came into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. And then beginning of verse 38, Pilate said to him, What is truth? So Jesus is really confusing Pilate here. He's uh, uh, giving him an inquisition, trying to find out some crime that he's done, that these Jewish people have brought he, he, Jesus to him. He wants to be able to either condemn him or uh, declare him not guilty. And he's asking him about this kingship and about this insurrection and about not paying taxes and about um, being a king and perverting the nation. And he's not getting anywhere with this thing. Jesus has told him that his kingdom isn't of this world. He's told him that he's a king, and Pilate is kind of clueless about this. You know, duh, he doesn't get it. Uh, he just said he's not of this world, and it's, his kingdom is not on the earth. Jesus says, yeah, I'm a king. That's what you're right. When he says, you say it, that means, yep, you nailed it. I am a king. But it's not going to be here that I'm a king. I was born... And, I, and I, I came into the world to bear witness to the truth. My mission in the world is about the truth. John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, uh, Jesus talking to uh, one of his disciples, and the disciple doesn't understand uh, where Jesus is going, and Jesus is making prophecies about his future death and his resurrection, his ascension up, up into heaven. The disciple doesn't get it. And uh, he's asking, the disciple is, show us the way to the Father, you know. And Jesus answered and said to them, I'm the way. I'm the truth and I'm the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. This is a famous verse. Memorize this. This is Jesus' explanation of who he is. He's the way to God. He is the truth about God. Everything he said was true. Everything he did was true. He is the personification of the truth. There is life in him. Life exists in Jesus. It comes to us. Everything that is alive got its life because of who Jesus is. It, he is truth personified. Everything he taught was true. Everything he did was true. You don't see it, Pilate. But I was born for the truth. I was born to bear witness for the truth. John chapter 12, verse 49 and 50, Jesus talks about this idea of the truth. Where did this come from? Where did his, did his words come from? Where did what he did come from, his works? For I have not spoken of myself. This turns the Jews on their ear. They don't want to hear him say stuff like this. I have not spoken of myself, but my the Father which sent me, as he gave me commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Everything, all the words that I said came from God, my God, my Father. <laughs> and they know that he's saying that he is equal with God and that he is God when he says this. All my words came from the Father. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. And John chapter 12. Whatever I speak, therefore... Even as the Father said to me, so I speak. His words were truth because they came from the Heavenly Father. They came from Him, from him only. Then in John chapter 14, verse 10 and 11, Do you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? Well, the answer should be yes, but they're kind of doubting that. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the works. Words and works all come from the Father. Jesus and the Father are one. They are two individual people, 
they are one God. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. So his words and his works all came from the Father. He was born into the world to bear witness to the truth, the truth about God, the truth about the way to God. He's the way. He's the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. You can trust Him. Every word that He said was true, and it was from the Father. He tells the truth, and He was born to the truth. The opposite of this is, well, we find, uh, we find it in Satan. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, uh, 2 and 3 say, Wherein, in times past, you... Everybody in the world walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that's Satan, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Everyone that is born into the world is born in this direction. They are under the sway of Satan, their father, and they walk there, they live there, they like it there, they love the darkness, they don't want the light to come in, they don't want the truth to invade their lives. That's who they are. That's who Christians were before their conversion, before their salvation. Satan is the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Paul says, among whom also we all had the way we lived, our conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, in the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, God's wrath upon us, even as others. You can't tell any difference between when people are unsaved, whether they're going to be saved or whether they're not going to be saved. There's no way to know. They all are going the wrong direction. Some are going a lot faster than others and a lot deeper than others, but they're all going the wrong way. This is the opposite of what Jesus came to do. John chapter 8, verse 30, 43 and 45 says, do you not understand? Why do you not understand my speech? All right, he's talking to the religious leaders. They don't get him. They don't understand him. He's asking why. He's going to answer the question. Why don't you understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. You're of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there's no truth in him. Jesus was born for the truth and speaks the truth and his works were true and they all came from the Father. Satan is just the opposite of that. He is a murderer from the beginning and he bowed in no truth. He doesn't live in the truth for there's no truth in him. John chapter 8. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own for he's a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you don't believe me. That's what Jesus, that's how Jesus explains his mission on earth. He's going to tell the truth about man, about God, about salvation, and about everything else that he spoke about. Th those things are all true, and Satan is a liar, and he's the father of liars, and he's a murderer, and if you walk according to that way, you're his child, child of Satan. Again, in John chapter 8, verse 40 and 47, Jesus says to them, but you seek to kill me, a man that told you the truth. I'm telling you the truth, and you're out to kill me, which I've heard of God. This Abraham didn't do. They're saying, we have Abraham to our father. We are, we are genuine Jews. We're never in bondage to anybody. Jesus said, if you were of Abraham, you would hear me, because I'm telling you the truth. Verse 47 of John chapter 8, he that is of God hears God's words. Where did Jesus' Jesus's words come from? They came from the Father. You therefore hear them not, because you're not of God. Everyone who hears my voice, Jesus says at the end of verse 37, everyone who hears my voice is of God, because I'm speaking the truth. Everyone that will receive the truth is of God. Approves of it. Recognizes it. Obeys it. And then comes Pilate's famous statement in verse 38, right at the beginning. Pilate said to him, what is truth? What are you talking about? I don't care about your mission. I don't care about the truth. 
I don't care about what you were born for or the truth that you speak. It's not important to me. He's jeering at him. He's disdaining him. He's mocking him. He doesn't want an answer. He doesn't wait for Jesus to even answer him. He's going to go back out and he's going to say that he doesn't find any fault in this guy. This guy is not a threat to Rome. This is a religious matter of interpretation. And Pilate sees through the Jewish people bringing Jesus to him to condemn him. Because Jesus says, I'm of the truth and my kingdom is not of this world. And I was born for the truth and I speak the truth. And Pilate says, I don't care about that. That's nothing to me. What's the truth? It's important for us to understand that everything Jesus said and everything he did was true. And we have an accurate record here in the scripture of it all. And we can base our trust and our faith and our lives upon the record of the Lord Jesus. He is the truth. Thanks for watching. I hope the Lord saves you as you commit yourself in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. I have hundreds of Bible teaching videos on my YouTube channel. You can click the red circle icon below and go there. Then click on the playlist and select the videos you'd like to watch. If you have questions or comments about this video, you can email me at BibleStudyVbyV at gmail.com, all one word. And don't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Bible study, verse by verse.